Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to deliver this message to the SOAS, School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London, Scrap Weapons Conference. At the outset, I wish to applaud Dr. Dan Plesch for his efforts to train the next generation of disarmament thinkers and to highlight the important role women have and do play in multilateralism. It has been almost 35 years since the General Assembly last convened a special session devoted to disarmament. The international security landscape has seen fundamental changes over the past uh, decades. We are observing a decade-long trend of increased polarization amongst great powers and a renewed arms competition among a larger and more complex set of global and regional actors, combined with a decline of trust within and amongst nations. Russia's invasion of Ukraine exacerbated this negative trajectory and created a three-dimensional food, energy and finance crisis, which highlighted the risks of social and political instability. These unfortunate trends have been placing extreme stress on our multilateral peace and security architecture. The world is a less peaceful place today, even compared to a decade ago. A qualitative and quantitative development of nuclear weapons is increasing strategic risks. Advances in conventional weapon technologies are threatening to drive armed conflict into new domains. The use of heavy explosive weapons in populated areas are devastating cities and civilian populations. Global military expenditures continue to increase and have now surpassed US $2 trillion for the first time in history in 2021. In tandem with the challenges of recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic and emerging threats such as climate change, these developments mean that our rules-based international order is facing an inflection point. Trust and cooperation are eroding and the sustainable development goals are slipping out of reach. As a result, we find ourselves at a crossroads for international peace and security and for disarmament. In his report, Our Common Agenda, the UN Secretary General said, and I quote, the risks we face are no longer managed effectively through the systems that we have, end of quote. To address these trends, he has called for a new agenda for peace to be able to better articulate and seek solutions to these challenges. A central part of this agenda will be the articulation of a new vision for disarmament, adapted to address the risks and challenges of the 21st century and reinvigorate the role of disarmament in conflict prevention and sustainable development. It should also ensure our institutional machinery is fit to provide our common security. This new vision can be accomplished through various pathways. It may entail some combination of elaborating new norms, rules and principles to address strategic risks through sustained political dialogue, enhancing partnership with other peace and security and development actors, and finding ways to strengthen our existing institutions. Member States may decide that the only proper forum to do this through a fourth special session of General Assembly devoted to disarmament. Ultimately, it will require thought leadership at all levels and the active engagement and support of stakeholders from civil society, academic and the private sector. I am therefore pleased to see your agenda for this conference engaged with these key issues. I hope your discussions are fruitful and I look forward to continuing our engagement with this initiative in the months and years ahead. I thank you very much for your attention.